Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. What the? What the? What's that? How do you do it? Okay. <laughs> This, this should make for some Sorry. interesting footage. Oh, it's going to be perfect. Hey, I'm really stoked. Uh, my special guest today is is uh, John Davis from, and I asked you, and then I messed it up anyways, Terra Savia. Terra Savia yes. wine uh, up in Hopland. Yep. And um, I was trying to do just some research, like looking back at, at Hopland, California. I mean, it's it's north of Hewl north of Sonoma County, right? Yeah, it's uh, forty five minutes north of Santa Rosa. Okay, yeah, and right and on the one hundred and one, it's one of the northern Russian River valleys. Okay, so they're kind of their own district, or they're part of Russian River. Um, they're not part of like the Russian River Valley that everybody knows, but it is part of the Russian River. The Russian River flows right through Hopland, and and it's a Russian River Valley. Awesome. Rather, but, than, rather than saying hi, it, it's, you know, Highway 101 runs right through it, it's a lot more romantic to say the Russian River runs through it. I can see that. Yeah, right. But I, I'm really happy to have John here because he and I went to high school together. And, uh, uh, you know, just through, through uh, 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 a number of uh, Facebook messages back and forth, we finally got together at, at Dave the Vegetarian's house uh, to do a little bit of tasting. And... Uh, so we're starting with this bubbly here. What do we got? What is this? This is a, our, our 2007 Blanc de Blanc. It is a uh, made French method. Um, thir age 30 months in the bottle. And uh, basically our winemaker has been making wine for a pretty long time, about 35 years. And um, he likes his sparkling wines very dry. Yeah, and, and you know, right off the bat as I'm... Uh, Give him a little sniff. Very, very citrusy. There's a little, um, it's a little sweet on the nose, you know, but I can definitely, you know, I get that a lot with sparkling wines in general. They taste a lot sweeter than they actually are. Like there's not a, not any residual sugar in this or? Uh, very little. Very little. Mm hmm No, this is great. Like very crisp, very not very sweet. Very <laughs> not not sweet at all. Very 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 citrusy. A, a lot of that lemon citrus, and this is definitely like a good you know seafood type of type of wine. A good Crab, caviar. Definitely, you got some goodness. You got some <laughs> caviar hookups. <laughs> I don't. Damn. I'm not friends with the Russian mafia. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that, that's where it comes from. The Baltic Baltic Sea. No, uh, the Russians are big into caviar. No, she's. I think, right? <laughs> no, but this is delicious. This is really good. <laughs> we got a peanut gallery today, but this is no. This is really good, John. What's this you. retail at? Twenty two ninety nine. Twenty two ninety nine and recent and double gold medal winner at the uh, two thousand twelve San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition. How long ago was that? That's a mouthful. Uh, a couple months. Nice. So that's a big boy right there. This yeah. is this is very beer. tasty. Very cool. Let's try this next one. I feel I'm, weird. I'm gonna continue with this one. Yeah. I'm tasting these for the first time. I think he knows it. So we're going into the Chardonnay here. This is a uh, unoaked Chardonnay, 2010 vintage. Uh, <laughs> all I don't our, know where uh, that wine came. From, where that glass as a came side from. note, all our wines are estate grown with organic grapes. People like to say, "Oh, your wines are pretty good for an organic wine." I say, "Well, that's because they have sulfur in them." <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, unoaked, you say? Unoaked. No malolactic fermentation and no oak. So you're using that sulfur is to kill that, any bacteria that would give that malolactic? Um, no, it's just, you know, the standard use of sulfur. Preservative. Oh, this is nice. Like a really good nose here. Lots of, lots of pineapple. Lots. And... 
Put some green apples, some pear on this. Delicious stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't disagree with any of that. Yeah, lots of, um, you know, again, those, those, um, green apple type of flavors, green apple, pear, a little bit of, uh, some tropical notes there, but also, um, a lot of, um, you know, floral notes, like a lot of like white flowers kind of, kind of dancing around on this one. Dave, right? Definitely. <laughs> oh, you're not talking now? I don't want to mess it up. You, you can never do that. No, this is really tasty. Unless you have something bad to say. <laughs> then you can go ahead and not say it. I don't. And, and what's the retail? I've got thick skin. I'm a wine salesman. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the retail on this retail one? Retail is 13 13 mm -hmm. And all, definitely a great value at $13. And um, I like to say that's a pure unadulterated Chardonnay uh, as it tastes coming from our vineyard. That's really nice. So, do you guys have to jump through a lot of hoops to get this organic designation? Or? Yes. Yeah, we have the CC, we're CCOF certified, um, which is that is a big deal if you're going to claim to be organic because it it takes a lot of time, and money, and and um, just hoops to jump through to get to obtain organic certification. Uh, many wineries in Mendocino County are, are organic, but they just haven't gone through the certification. I think 30% though are certified. Oh. Yeah, no, this is, this is a fantastic, just, just clean Chardonnay on the, on the same level of this Blanc de Blanc, you know, um, I would see it pairing with a lot of the same foods. Mm -hmm. Um, I, you know, I, I would think of... Gosh, in a way, both of these could really be be starters, like along with any appetizers you were gonna have with dinner, and you know, pair one with the seafood and the other one kind of by itself. But mm -hmm. delicious wine. So, uh, gosh, I keep kind of going back to the the Hopland thing. I, I mean, is oh, this feel a, free? Well, I'm trying to make a name for Hopland. Yeah. Well, and and that's the thing because I mean, you know, in this. North Coast area, you know, it seems like uh, everything kind of cuts off around Sonoma County when you get other people talking about yeah. wine, and and you know, I fall, <laughs> I fall into, <laughs> hey Kara, I fall into that category too, where where you know a lot Hopland doesn't really come to mind a lot of times when we think about wine. I mean, are how many wineries are we talking about up there? In Ho in the Hopland region, there are 16 wineries, I believe. Okay. Um, Fetzer included, Bonterra, uh, McNabb, Saracena, Jericho, Jackson Keys, some other... I just bought some Whole Foods wine that's from Hopland from a red, some red flag vineyards. I've never even heard of them, but supposedly they're from Hopland. Nice. Um... Yeah, those are a few just off the top of my head. Milano. No, but I'm I'm really kind of stoked Tough. on this area in general. Like, I mean, the climate of Hopland, like, do you think it's more geared towards... towards... It's very similar to the Sonoma, like, Dry Creek Valley kind of area. Okay. I'm not... It, Hopland doesn't really, like, one ridge... It's called the Sanel Valley. It's in this... Or Sanel Valley. Um, that's where it rests in, and one, the west ridge of the Sonel Valley is pretty much like the innermost barrier of the fog line. So where, you know, the Mendocino wine regions are, you know, basically concentrated into the Hopland area. There's like Ukiah and Redwood Valley, which yeah. are north, and then there's the Anderson Valley, oh. which is more or less to the east of Hopland. And where Anderson Valley, you get all the, the pinots coming from there because they like that, that, that foggy, they like that, that sort of cooler climate like, you know, Oregon and Washington. Yeah, yeah. 
and the Sonoma Coast. So, I mean, and Pinot does grow. We have a small block of Pinot in our vineyard, but we don't push that one. Um, our Jim, our winemaker, doesn't feel like the Jim doesn't really feel like the Pinot does performs quite as well. Yeah. You know, as far as you know, competing against the big, the heavy hitter Pinot producers. Gotcha. So you you guys would say you're kind of on the warmer side. Yeah, of... we we specialize our reds. Um, we do primarily um, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Petit Verdot, and those are our three reds. We do um, single varieties of all three of those. Oh, nice. And then our Meritage blend, which is always all three. How's the PV selling? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a con- that's a consistent sell sellout one for us. That was actually our sort of breakthrough wine. We got a best in class for that and f- for our 05 vintage. Nice. And I that's mean, that's sort of been our sort of springboard. But it's still it's a limited production compared to everything else. I'll bet. Yeah, we and produce four to six thousand cases total a year, um, but Petit Petit Verdot is less than three hundred. Nice, nice. So now we're jumping into this uh, 09 Cabernet Sauvignon. And what's this retail at? That retails at about 18 to 20 bucks, depending on where you go. Nice, nice. And that's 100% Cabernet. Oh, wow. And like, uh, I'm loving this nose right off the bat. Like, you know, nice, dense uh, blueberries. Totally. Hey, man. Sorry. <laughs> Lots of really dense blueberries along with some blackberry. Like, I, I love, like, the the nose on this. What, yeah. what is this read? very, read? very common in that. In our venue. What's this read, Dave? What Means you, I'd pay more. You'd it's pay delicious. more. It's delicious. <laughs> this is from a guy that just got a free taste. <laughs> I'll take another. No, but this is, just the, just the nose on this is, is fantastic. You know, I, I'm... More and more, I've been having this happening where, where I'll get a taste of some wine and I, I just want to keep smelling it forever. <laughs> well, and, that, that's the first uh, <coughs> first impressions are everything, right? Yeah, and, you know, or, or colors not everything, but but you know, yeah. definitely means a lot, and 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 you know, you can go into it like some with like a real crappy nose and and. <laughs> It will not live up to your expectations, regardless of what it smells like. But, I mean, this smells fantastic. We actually have our sort of winemaker's reserve called Hoplander, which is the sort of best of best of each harvest. And we have a 02 and an 03, and it's it's a Cab Sauve and Petit Verdot. And then you, you pop the bottle, and it's just blueberry explosion. It's It's wonderful. Yeah, and and I don't know if that's just sort of characteristic of our vineyard, or I'm gonna pretend it isn't. No, I I, <laughs> I believe I, I think that's a good uh, you know I I don't know much about Hopland, but if this is indicative of of, of the greater region and and I'll take some of that. Yeah, f yeah. I, I was about to swear. I'm, this is supposed to be family friendly. Yeah, uh, but I mean this is this is. This is fantastic. And just, you know, while John was talking, I, I just, like, I had to show it. I mean, there's this big explosion of just bright red fruit, um, you know, nice and, and, and concentrated in a, in a really good way. And I, 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 I got to say, go it really, really opens up in these glasses, specifically. It definitely has a different nose than what I usually drink out of. Which is the little smaller guys? Yeah. What What is this? The Crane Bears? That's extra fancy. What is this? What, what do you call a fancy wine glass? Those red, the Ritos. The Ritos? Ritos? Yeah, but I mean. Yeah, there you go. It's It's definitely, man. There again. There's that big blueberry fruit. There's some blackberry. There's some raspberry. I mean, um, it, it's it's really firm. It's it's got this roundness. This is definitely, um, you know, something you could keep for a couple of years. It's it's more than more than ready to drink right now. Um, and I a couple I'm, couple dozen years. It, it's it's fantastic. So Thank you. tell me about that Hoplander because I I was I was looking at your website just uh, before you were coming over. I was trying to 
<laughs> brush up on try, the- trying to <laughs> trying to bone up on it and and you have the O three mm-hmm. online right now. Yeah. And I mean, is it really select vintages that you release it or is it Yeah. Any- um actually the the O nine is going to have a Hoplander. Nice. Um, but before that in O O three O three is the only other vintage of that that's available currently. I mean, because it's just a, you know where Jim feels like that that was the best year, so he takes the best of the best of the best harvest. Yeah, and I mean, if this okay. is if this is anything close um, to to representing what O nine is in general in in Hopland for for Terrasavia, I mean, I. I'm gonna pay that extra dollar. I mean, it, it really. I mean, this is this is a fantastic deal. Um, at, do you say eighteen dollars? Uh, yeah, eighteen to twenty dollars. Eighteen to twenty. I mean, buy it up. Like I, 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 I was going into this saying I'm not gonna score John's wines because he's a friend and he's and he's bringing these over for us to you can, you taste. Can score but them. I'm but I mean, this is like. We we did an Italian tasting earlier today, and you'll see that post later on, and and this is by far and away the best wine I've had today, and and ninety two ninety three. I mean, this is fan, uh, you're... fan effing tastic, and I I don't, I'm I'm telling you, like this is great, dude. This, <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you. you. I'm stoked. You don't be bashful. This is this is great wine, John. Good. I'm going to say. Dude, thank you so much <laughs> for coming like over. It. Yeah. You, like, this is great, right? This is really delicious. I don't know how much is left in the bottle, but. That was plenty. I will gladly have another sample. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's supposed to <laughs> have this for his job. <laughs> this is so good. And we're we're going to. This is for Care Bender. We're, we're going to figure out what else to do with this stuff. Everybody, thank you for watching. John, thank you for coming over. This has been fantastic. Cheers, everybody. Stay rad.